Hi there, it's Simon from Inklips and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an interactive card using an action wobbler from Art Impressions. And I'm also going to be showing you how to um, modify a stamped image to fit your card making needs and design. So I'm using an Art Impressions stamp set from the new release called My Feet. This features an awesome monster with a Halloween basket with an extra stamp and die for his feet. It also has a great sentiment and there's an action wobbler included already so you can get started with your interactive cards. Now they do sell action wobblers separately as well so once you finish with that one you can buy some more if you would like to continue using the set. So I'm starting off with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and this is a Copic friendly ink, so it will not bleed later when we color. Um, and I'm going to be inking up my monster and stamping it down onto my cardstock. I want to make sure to give this guy good pressure because it is quite a big stamp, so you don't want it to skip or anything. But it should be fine because it is a um, cling stamp, so it has a nice cushion on it. I'm also going to stamp this monster's feet right next to him. It doesn't really matter where you stamp these because I'm going to be cutting them out later. Um, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to fussy cut them out. So now I'm going to be Copic coloring these images in. I have all of the colors listed in the top left corner from darkest to lightest shades that you guys can follow along if you would like to use the same colors to color in an image. Um, and also I figured... Um, you know, I'm still a beginner at this, but I kind of figured out my way of coloring. I like to start from the darkest color and go to the lightest color. That way I can get my darkest shadows in and then I can just color the rest in with my lightest colors. And um, I, I already have those deep shadows in there. So blending with these colors was, was a little bit trickier um, because the YG was not in the BG family. Um, I kind of skipped that out there. Now, I do really love this color combination here, and I wanted it to be kind of a bluish green monster because um, that's one of my favorite colors. So I'm just using these three colors. Now, it doesn't really matter. If you want to, you can do a tip-to-tip -tip technique to make sure that they blend better, but this did blend okay for me, and I was completely fine with the results. Now, I also wanted to mention that the Art Impressions packaging is great because with the stamp set um, packaging, they give you the image um, already colored in. So I kind of um, went off of there and changed the colors up a little tiny bit, but I kind of based it off of that image that they have on the stamp set just to kind of help me out a little bit with my colors here. So now I'm going to be coloring in the chest and the hands. I'm using two different colors for those, and they're a little bit darker. I'm also using I'm using the darkest color for the lightest color that I used on the body, if that makes any sense. I'm using, you know, different... I'm kind of sticking with some of the same colors throughout this whole piece so it kind of matches the whole thing and just switching out some of the colors. Um, so I'm just going to continue coloring these in and kind of blending these out. It was really, um, it's getting easier when you're coloring with Copics. I'm definitely getting used to that brush tip now and kind of getting in more fine spaces. It's a lot of fun to use these markers and, you know, they blend super well. Um, and with a big image like this, it's really easy to color and kind of practice because this monster is quite big. So it's really easy to practice your coloring inside of here and different things like that. And it makes it a little bit easier to practice your blending. So now I'm going in with some YG tones just to kind of add a little pop of green into my monster, like really light, bright green. And so I'm using the YG03, um, which is my darkest color. And then I'm using a YG41, which is, I don't know, it's kind of, I chose the wrong colors for this, or not the wrong colors, they're too far apart from each other. So I had to do the tip-to-tip -tip technique where I touched the lighter marker to the darker marker. And this way they blend a little bit better and I can kind of get a mid-tone there. They still didn't blend perfectly, but I kind of thought it was okay for the monster. So now I'm going to be using some Simon Says Stamp Fog Ink. This is a top-folding card base that I turned on its side. I wanted it to be a little bit different from my usual card, so that's what I went with today. And I've masked off a little portion because I wanted the monster to have some ground to sit on. So I'm using some fog ink from Simon Says Stamp. This is super light. I don't know if you guys can even see it on the camera today. But I thought putting a piece of cardstock there was too dark, so I wanted something really light and subtle for the monster to sit on. So when I pull this tape away, it's a little bit more noticeable. You guys can kind of see the line there. It's really, um, I don't know. It was kind of a brownish, grayish color, and I really like that. So 
now this die cut was a kind of a mistake it's a die cut from lawn fawn and i did some ombre coloring using some of the colors that i used on the monsters today and i still wanted to keep this in the video i coated it with a glossy accents coat but this die cut actually got ruined i touched it before it dried on accident and i was a little bit too impatient so i actually had created a new one just with one color and i put a glossy accents coat on that so if you notice that those two are a little bit different i still wanted to include this though in my video so I did do a, a similar die cut like this, and this is from Lawn Fawn, it's a thanks die, and I really love it. So now I'm taking the Action Wobbler. It was a little bit too big to fit behind the feet, and don't be worried, you guys can definitely cut this down. So I'm just trimming off some of the edges, making sure not to cut the middle at all, that will ruin your wobbler. Um, so just cut off some of the edges, and th that's just plastic that you're cutting off, so it doesn't really matter um, too much, and I'm just going to adhere it be beneath my feet feet sorry and um that way it will not show from the edges so i'm just going to set that down and i'm lining it up with that bottom one and i'm going to kind of push down here to make sure that those two get lined up nice and good um i didn't adhere the bottom down yet and i'm just going to peel that little sticker off of there and it's really sticky underneath there so you don't have to worry about that adhesive coming up or anything and then i'm going to line that up with the bottom portion and i'm going to push down once again I like to give it nice good pressure so that um, when people are kind of flicking it, it won't fall off your card and it'll hold up nicely. So then I'm taking that thanks die that I talked about and I'm going to be using some glossy accents right at the bottom of it to adhere it onto a banner that I had cut. And I've also stamped a big time sentiment from the Create a Smile stamps. So now I am adhering this onto the monster and I'm also adding a little bit of foam tape at the end of it. And I've also cut off of the pumpkin, the pumpkin off of the monster, if you guys didn't notice already. Um, that was kind of how I modified the image here. Uh, I don't really make Halloween cards a lot, so I decided to just cut that pumpkin off. It's super versatile. You can do that, or you can keep it with the pumpkin and make some Halloween cards, so it's really easy to use. That about completes it for my card. It was pretty simple for today. The element um, on the card was a little bit harder for me to do since I've never made an interactive card before. So it was a lot of fun to try out and I love doing it. Here's the up close of the um, shaker. It's really fun to use. I would encourage you guys to check out the new Art Impressions release. It is really awesome with a lot of great products. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this card making tutorial. All the products will be listed and linked down below in the description. And if you stop over at my blog, Inclips.com, there will be still photos and much more information. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in Friday's video. Bye! Oh, and by the way, I wanted to mention that I was sent some more Art Impressions products, so I'll be using those in the future for some more interactive cards, so stay on the lookout.